31 years since the ban was put in place out of fear of HIV. Folks at the National Gay Blood Drive say the policy is outdated and needs to be changed. It's a sign you'll see near any blood bank. Please donate blood. For some people, it's not possible. I want to be able to give blood. I have O negative. Michael Quint can't donate because he's gay. An FDA's ban stops all gay and bisexual men from giving blood. And that's what the National Gay Blood Drive is trying to change. Gay and bisexual men are not giving blood today. People are coming on their behalf to donate for them because they're prohibited. Folks came to the Red Cross ready to donate, to help save lives, and to spread the drive's message. Giving blood is a great thing to do, and everybody should have the right to do it. In a group statement, the American Red Cross noted that they have to follow the FDA's policy, but they have suggested the policy have a one year deferral. That statement said in part, We support ongoing efforts by the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services and the National Institutes of Health to fund research to evaluate deferral policies and prevent potential risks to the blood supply. Situation. Karen Ball was surprised to hear the policy was even still in place. I mean, it was pretty shocking to find out that most gay people can't um, donate blood, and I just thought that was horrible. She says the policy is outdated and that it should be about health, not sexual orientation. And I'm at as much risk um, if I were being promiscuous or, or living in a different kind of a lifestyle as anyone. The drive's goal is to get donations and to get 100,000 signatures on a petition so that the White House will have to respond. News they asked the FDA for a statement and did not hear back. Locally, the State Department of Health and Human Services declined to comment. Live in the studio, Allie Miles, WMTW News 8.